Hey everyone, it's Amy. So today I'm going to be doing a haul of everything I've bought so far for university. So I say so far just because there's kind of silly, random little things that I need to buy still. The mass majority of my stuff for university I have bought and is in a huge disorganised pile right next to me. Naturally I'm going to record my moving to university and kind of document my whole university experience. At least that is the plan at the minute. Obviously not everything Think goes to plan hoping that I can record as much as possible. I actually have made a document of a list of everything that I personally think that I will need for university. So I'm moving to Royal Holloway and I am going to be in a self-catered accommodation and I have an ensuite in my university room. I have a list of everything that I think I'm going to need. Um, obviously it's not going to be perfect, there's probably going to be something that I need but I'll realise I need it when I'm at university. So yeah, I literally have a list of everything um, that I'm possibly gonna need. Um, and so I think I'm gonna tr try and find a way that I can link that or I'll even like put screen caps of it in this video so that you can screenshot it. I actually might as well just start with the first thing I've showed you. Um, I've actually got a new laptop for university. My laptop was so broken even the Apple store didn't want it back for a trade-in. This is the Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch and this is the 2022 model. I am so so grateful for this Mac. It's very expensive as any Apple product is and it is my birthday and Christmas present this year from my dad so I'm so so grateful for that. I thank you to my dad because I love him so much and I love this laptop so much. Um, so yeah, I'm very grateful for this. And then to go along with that, I bought myself a laptop case because with something that expensive, I don't want anything to happen to it. And then I also bought myself um, a new pair of headphones. These are just, oh, it's so bright, you can't see it. These are just a pair of JBL headphones that are Bluetooth. Um, and these are actually really expensive inexpensive these were like 30 quid and they're pretty good so far um i got these headphones and i also got my laptop's case off of amazon if i'm a little downbeat right now it's because i've been out for my friend's birthday we went to bottomless brunch and i got way too drunk and um yeah i'm not drunk now like i mean we got drunk like this morning slash early this afternoon and my head is just ugh, i feel Horrific. I'm gonna start with bedding just because there's lots of like big things and I kind of just want to get it done and out of the way um, So I can actually tell you the prices of all these things like I said starting with bedding I need pillows. These are just two like bog standard washable pillows from Dunelm and these were 18 pounds Have a mattress protector again from Dunelm and this was 14 pounds a single duvet from Dunelm Which is 16 pound mattress enhancer, which is basically just makes your bed super comfy and this was 18 pounds Two non-iron duvet covers in white and these were 10 pounds each two sets of pillowcases These are from Asda. There's two easy care ones and then two like nicer quality ones just because I thought I can have the not as nice ones on the bottom and the nice ones on the top. 175 and four pounds each. Two plain white fitted sheets from Asda. These were three pounds fifty each. I got two throw blankets because I saw someone online say that university heating isn't the most reliable and so it's best to kind of just stock up on blankets and stuff like that in case it does get cold. So I have this like lilac one which was seven pounds and then I have this pink one which was twelve pounds. That's pretty much all of the bedding stuff done and out of the way i don't know where to go next to be honest with you because there's so much stuff and it's such a mess um i've kind of just made a massive mess by doing this i'm gonna go ahead and try and reorganize this so i can make it easier to show you the rest of the stuff okay we've somewhat reorganized um the rest of the stuff kind of isn't in an organized way for me to show it all of the bedroom and kitchen stuff kind of just all bung together i have a door hook for six pounds from danelle this is a set of four drinking glasses and these were 60p each from danelle i believe and they just look like this so i have a 20 centimeter saucepan which was eight pounds an 18 centimeter saucepan which was seven pounds i don't know what the names of any of these spoons are so i'm gonna look at the email so i have a ladle a slotted turner a solid spoon and a slotted spoon. 
and these were all 60p each from Danelm. Have a can opener plus bottle opener, which was eight pounds. Oh my god, it was eight pounds. Why is everything so expensive? I didn't buy a colander. Luckily, my mom had one to give to me because every single colander I saw was eight pounds, and I was like. Why is it so expensive? I have a 28 centimeter non-stick frying pan. I have a cheese grater, which came squished in the post, but I unsquished it, and this is two pounds. A potato peeler, which was four pounds. Pizza tray, which was two pound 50, and an oven tray, which was one pound 50. And then I also have this set of dinner plates. So it has four large plates, four side plates, and four bowls. And this was 18 pounds from Dunelm. And they're really cute, because oh. they're pink. A set of ice cube trays, and these are two pound, which is really good, because all of the ones on Amazon were like six pound or eight pound. My bathroom. I got a toilet brush. I still need to get a toothbrush holder. So this was £2.80 from Dunnell. White tack and a set of really teeny weeny command hooks from Dunnell. Actually, no. The blue tacks from Asda and the command hooks are from Dunnell. From Asda, I got a set of tea towels and they're in really pretty pastel colours. And these were £2. My oven glove from Asda and this was £4, I believe. And it's got really cute little zebras on. And I just, I like the colours on this. Um, an oven dish and this was five pounds which was i did not think was bad one of the ladies at work gave me this chopping board because i was talking to her about how stressed i was trying to get all my stuff for uni and she had this spare at home because she hadn't used it so she brought it in for me and gave that to me so i'm very grateful for that thank you to naz also got these chopping boards because they came with sharp knives um, and I didn't want to buy like a massive pack of sharp knives because I know I, I just know I wouldn't need like five um, And this ended up being like cheaper. This was seven pound for the two chopping boards and the two knives So I got a washing up bowl from Danelm um, Because my thought process with this was I can put my dirty dishes and stuff in it if someone else is using the sink but also if I don't want to do it straight away and also if I get flat rates that aren't as up to date with their cleaning as they should be then i can just take this and fill it up with water and just do my washing up somewhere else if i need to this was three pounds from Danelle. i've got a few coat hangers i kind of do want to get another pack still um so these are eight from Danelle and these are a pound and then i've got six from asda which i think were like one pound 20 or something we've got a fragrance diffuser because you're not allowed candles in university or rented accommodation generally from asda i also got a set of like food containers because like i said i want to make a lot of pasta and lasagna and stuff like that so i can put portions into these and freeze them um because it's a much more like it's a much smarter way of making food and it also means that i don't have to eat pasta for like three days straight um and these were two pound for five which i didn't think was bad i have a bath mat um this is one of the cheapest ones Dunham had and it's pink which is really cute and this was only five pounds two flannels from Dunelm because i prefer these over like loofahs and stuff um and i think these were like one pound 20 each. um bath towel from Dunelm, which i think was like 11 pounds because my nan has given me some towels for uni so i just got like another one from asda i got this little like jar i've got this little jar which has a nice purple top and my plan for this is to put sugar in it for like tea and coffee and stuff um because i have a like tea canister already um that i got ages and ages ago um but i just didn't have anything for sugar and i thought having sugar like leaving the sugar in the bag would just be like really annoying oh my god one of my favorite things that i've bought for my uni accommodation so far is my cutlery because it's so damn cute so this is my cutlery and it's all pastel colors and this is so cute this was i didn't need to spend this much money on cutlery but it's fine because it's really cute and i just really really wanted it um i think this was like 13 pounds um but it's really really nice cutlery i am one of those annoying people that has like a favorite spoon in my cutlery drawer <laughs> So I don't have to worry about having a favourite because I like all of it. I got a few bits and bobs from Amazon as well. Um, so the first thing that I got, which was just an absolute essential, was a set of LED, no, not LED lights. <laughs> I'm going insane. 
um, a set of fairy lights because I love fairy lights. I have them like lining my room and I just love decorative lights in general. About £14 and there's like 25 meters I think. I also got a set of black pens because all of my pens are from my A levels so I'm pretty sure they're all going to be run out and I also got a set of um, drawing board pins and these are really cute they're like clear but they're flowers and some of the random bits that I've got is obviously the colander that my mom gave me and I've also got mugs which I'm just gonna be taking my mugs from home um, this one's one of my Harry Potter cursed child mugs I've also got a couple of notepads to take with me and a lot of my room decor is gonna be stuff from at home so like I'm gonna take a couple of cushions from my mom's I'm gonna take some of my Funkos with me and take some books with me if you find this video helpful then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content from me comment down below which uni you're going to and what you're studying I find it's so interesting to like find out where everyone's going and what they're studying thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video and it may even potentially be my uni moving vlog so yeah, thank you so much for watching and bye!